Happy Thursday, everyone. Today is the last day in April and tomorrow we will be starting a new month and that month is May. We're gonna get started with our greeting. Hello, incredible learners. Hey, I'm calling you incredible learners because I'm just so proud of all the hard work you've been doing with your new way of learning. Today is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. Let's stretch Thursday to find that missing sound after the R. So when we get to the R, we're gonna pause and listen for the next sound. Thursday, Thursday. What sound do you hear? Thursday, I heard an S. Thursday, April 30th, 2020. I made a little mistake when I was writing the date because I couldn't believe that it was the last day in April. So I went to write the number two. So I'm gonna fix my mistake. 30. I think the weather will be hmm and hmm. Yesterday, I think I got the weather wrong again. I said it was going to be, I think, chilly. And today, or yesterday, was a beautiful day. I can't believe I got the weather wrong again. So today I'm gonna to tell you what I think the weather is gonna be. I think the weather will be rainy, because it looks like it might rain today. Rainy and cool. So it's not gonna to be too chilly where I need a coat, but I think it'll be cool. What can you do to help someone at home. So I want you to start to think about something that you can do at home to help. Maybe you help with the dishes after dinner or after lunch. Maybe you help take out the trash when it's time to take out the trash. There are so many things you can do to help somebody at home and I want you to think of one thing that you can do today to help somebody. So you're going to do one thing to help someone today and if you want, you can also write about what you did. So I'm gonna show you my writing in just a minute. But before we do that, let's read through our greeting together. Hello, incredible learners. Today is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. I think the weather will be rainy and cool. What can you do to help someone at home? I did some thinking and I've decided that the way I'm going to help somebody at home is by cleaning up after dinner. So my sentence is going to say, I can clean up after dinner. If you are going to write your own sentence, you can do this on a whiteboard, a piece of paper, on a driveway with some chalk, you can do whatever you, do that however you'd like. Before I get started, I'm going to put up my checklist. Remember, I need a capital letter to start. I need spaces between each of my words, and I need to use an ending mark at the end of my sentence. I will be using a period. So I'm going to start with I, and we always capitalize the letter I, even if it's in the middle of a sentence. I can, can, Help. So I'm going to stretch help. I hear an H. E. 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 Help. I can help clean. I don't think I can fit the word clean here, so I'm going to go down to the next line. Clean. So that E is saying its name. Do you hear it? Clean. That's why I added a vowel friend right next door so that vowel friend can help the E say its name. I can help clean up a p after. A after. After dinner. D d e I n din. Actually, two ends. Er, I can help clean up after dinner. 
and I'll add my period. All right, let's go through our checklist. We always wanna check our work before we're finished. I have a capital letter. I have spaces between my words and I have my ending mark. I'm going to add the date and then I am done. I'm gonna read my sentence once and then I will let you read it all by yourself. I can help clean up after dinner. Your turn. All right, I can't wait to maybe hear about some of the ways that you have been helping out around the house.